Hello everyone, my name is Scott C. Warren of UFOSightiesDaily.com and today I'm showing you some underwater cities. Uh, this could very well be an underwater ancient city from uh, Asia. It's near Saipan. Up here is the island of Saipan. Uh, but it also could be an underwater base um, that's been there for tens of thousands of years. Uh, what I'm saying is uh, if they made an underwater base, they could have pushed up the land. By pushing up the land to make the space in the area, they, they use some kind of force to stretch out an opening in the land. And I'll explain that a little bit further later. But look at these lines. I outlined it with red so you can see it in better detail. And this is all on Google Earth. This is on Google Earth. And I just outlined some of the lines, but you can see the high detail and how that there was once maybe an alien civilization uh, underwater that pushed it up or an ancient Asian civilization. It's very possible that this area could have been basically the size of Japan and has sunk under the ocean. Okay, let me show you what it looks like on Google Earth. Here it is. This is Google Earth. Let me turn it uh, north ways up. There it is. Okay, sorry about that. I didn't have it that way earlier because it was a little hard to view the entire thing. Okay, just look for Guam. If you find Guam, everything else is easy to find. Here's Guam. There used to be one around Guam. It's been deleted by Google Earth. However, there is still one above Saipan area. Okay, can you see this? You probably have a little difficulty in seeing it because it's a little hard to see because of the Google Map area. I'm going to go over here and alter my display. Increase the lighting so that should help us. Yes, it does. Look at that. Okay, so I increased the lighting. You, I suggest you do the same if you're trying to look at it. It's much easier to see. And it goes all the way up. If you're looking at this video, you might want to look at full screen because you won't see the detail. Okay, it really goes all the way up. Here's Saipan, and you see how big it is. Okay, let's take Google Ruler and measure it. Um, go to kilometers. Just this little area from here to here is, oh, we got feet. Let's go back to kilometers again. 15 kilometers or for miles, 9.4 miles. Okay, from here to here, well, actually it goes way down, is 57 miles. This thing is huge. I mean, they didn't just take an area, but they took a huge area. Uh, I mean, something this size would be able to house millions upon millions of aliens if it's underground. Uh, I really don't see how an ancient culture can create something that big, that massive in scale. Let me zoom out so we can see more. Okay, so let's go from here. It goes all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Not quite straight though. You see how it turns right, right here? and then goes at an angle. So I'm, I'm kind of missing that part. But pretty much it goes 247 miles across. That is huge. That is massive on scale. To do something that big, it has to be of an advanced civilization. Now there, of course, were advanced civilizations in the past, like Atlantis that was supposedly sunk. Could this be Atlantis? Could uh, the Saipan, Saipan Grant Guam area be uh, ancient Atlantis. Maybe. Maybe it is. But from what it looks like to me is underground bases that were uh, built in this area maybe tens of thousands of years ago. Now if you remember the, the friendship case, it happened in the 50s, it happened over decades, not just a few days, over decades in Rakapia, Italy. There's an alien base under there. Now the man is dead, and but before he was, before he died, he gave a testimony about the facts that he remembered. And um, let's let's show you part of the video about him showing or or discussing how 
these bases were made. And maybe if you see that video just for a few seconds, you'll understand how these massive structures down here are bases, how they were pushed up and out, and the, the rock was actually pushed. Well, now watch this. Watch this for a second. And uh, think about this person telling his story, getting out before he passed away. He really, he knew he was dying, but he really wanted to get the word out. But the aliens also explained how they built their bases. In the stories told by Bruno, Giancarlo, and Giulio, you're immediately aware of the huge gap in scientific and technological development between humans and the friends. They weren't built by digging, but through a particular mechanism, they were able to compress material laterally. The soil would thicken into what would later become the walls of the base, and then the outer structure was formed by extremely dense and therefore extremely strong material. The funny thing was that it was very unstable, but it always had to be kept standing. All you had to do was flip a switch and everything returned to the initial state. So for them to open and close a base was a very commonplace operation. The same system was used to create the entry corridors. Okay, so the same system was used for entrances. That's why we can't find entrances, is because they've been compressed and closed, open and closed. Uh, what I'm suggesting is that these are underground bases, but they're less concerned with them pushing above the surface because, well, because there's nobody above the surface. It's just water, lots and lots of water. Uh, I believe it's close to 2,800 feet deep over here. Um, from what my memory tells me, the old Google map said about 2,800 feet, um, but I'm not certain about that. Uh, that was years ago, so my memory is, is a little off on it. Uh, Google doesn't show us the depth of the ocean. If it does, I haven't seen it lately. So check this out sometime. Check out the area of Guam and see how massive these areas are. Now. I'm going to switch it back and I'm going to turn it from north area. I'm up here and I'm switching to the side because this way we can see the whole area. Here's Saipan over here and Guam is up there. But I want to show you all of this right here. Now, it's not just diagonals. It's not just right angles because if you look at the right angles, it's unbelievable. All these right angles everywhere it shows that these areas were created by intelligence. But there's also areas that are curved. And you notice the lines are going this way. This way is the lines and they curve this way. They don't, all the lines are going up, down, up, down, up, down, and then it goes this way, sideways, left, right, left, right, left, right. It turns by intelligence, design, okay? This isn't just earthquake things or marks or, or Grand Canyon like things. Look at this line here. Suddenly turns, goes up. Can you see this line? Let me zoom in on it. You see this line right in the center and it turns right here and it goes upward. That shows intelligent design. Look at this. Right in the center of all of these is a line. And then it curves in some areas. The curvings, the curves, are the proof that this was created by intelligent design. Look at this. It, it goes from left to right, left to right, then goes up. And, well, you can't see this one here very well, though. But the, the fact that it curves in perfect right angles almost is unbelievable. The curves match each other. If you take this curve over to that one, it will match. Now, there's another area of curves that's a little unusual. Let me bring this up so you can see it. Um, there we are. If you come over here, you see more curves. See these lines? I enhanced the color already on it, enhanced the uh, uh, focus. Look at the lines on these. Okay, these are enhanced, digitally enhanced a little bit. Now, 
What do you think about this? Do you think it's an underground ancient civilization that uh, sunk under the ocean a long time ago? Or do you believe, uh, like the friendship case in Rock Pia, Italy, that this could be one of the underwater bases? Okay, did we find one of the underwater bases to an alien civilization? Um, check it out on Google Map. I checked it out on uh, Apple Maps. I couldn't find it as easily, but Google Map did show it. Uh, Apple Maps had very little detail around the water. The detail of the rocks over here, the detail of the, the cliffs and, and, and gorges over here, you couldn't see it. It's gone on Apple Maps. So uh, let me show you the Apple Map. There is an Apple Map. Wow, let's see, just see a little bit of a line here, a little bit of a gorge here, but it's so blurry, it's so blurry. I believe this is Guam and Saipan's right there. And so there should be a lot over here, but we have nothing, we've got nothing. Uh, don't wanna waste your time with that one. Um, each map has its own strength and weaknesses, and so you have to really use both maps to uh, see if one is better than the other, and obviously this one is. So Google Maps, guys, check out the coordinates. I will put the coordinates below the video so you, uh, you can just put it in, or, or you don't even really need coordinates. Just type in Guam or Saipan uh, in the search box. Bam, you'll find it right there. When you go up there, you might want to turn up here in the right-hand corner, I'm up here, uh, you might want to turn it from being north towards the south a little bit because it's easier to view on a full-screen computer uh, all at once this way. All right, uh, that's what I have for you for today, and I'd really like to know about your opinions. Is this an underwater uh, alien base? Is this an ancient civilization that could be hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years old? Um, what do you think it is? Let me know, and uh, I'll see you on uh, ufosightingsdaily.com. Thank you very much for viewing this video.